Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic. These need a wash. We should do that at some point. But we're doing some How modern today. Go about washing these without wrecking them. That's are they machine washable? I thought these were. I don't Didn't know. Did we try just... that once? No, we haven't tried it. I've talked about it, but I'm not sure. Because mm. I don't want these yeah. to like all of a sudden peel off the plastic, true, or the rubber. Well, we I have three. If... We could try it. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you know how to clean how to clean play mats. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we are doing modern today. I know we did modern. Usually, well, we we're only doing do modern. Blood braid today. Well, I was getting there. <laughs> um, yeah. So normally we only do modern once a week, but uh, you know, the, fresh off these unbannings, who wants to play any other format? Exactly. Honestly. So we're having a little blood braid a palooza, a little blood braid off today. I'm playing a green red, straight green red. Um, <laughs> ball breaker deck which uh if you're unfamiliar with that it's ball lightning and ground breaker which are functionally the same card one costs three green the other one costs three red they're both six ones with haste and trample and you have to sacrifice it but uh that's where it gets its name from yes it's ball you breaker. conveniently have a uh, blood braid that can cascade into either yeah of and uh primal beyond which is a really good land because both Groundbreaker and ball lightning are really hard to cast normally outside of monocolor decks but they're both elementals, and uh, that land is very good with elementals. So that's what I'm playing. As for me, I am playing a young pyromancer list that utilizes Bloodbraid Elf and Life from the Loam to gain a little bit of extra value by yeah. recurring the lands. It also makes the tokens if you have the blood or yeah. the young pyro. Seems good. Um, so also worth noting, you're playing the newest art of Bloodbraid Elf, and I'm playing the oldest art. So we're gonna see who wins between old art and new art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, so, I was thinking to decide who goes first. We're both shuffled up, yeah? Yeah. You want to just go until we hit a blood braid? Makes sense. Since we're having a blood braid off. Plus, you might get to see some of the deck. So. Yes! <laughs> I had to think for a second. I was looking for your art, <laughs> and I'm like, that's not a blood braid elf. But, uh, yeah. So, I will go in first. Uh, so, yeah, as you can kind of see here, it's sort of an elemental theme deck because uh, you want to get use out of these Primal Beyonds. But, uh, basically, it's it's like good old-fashioned aggro burn type deck <laughs> with, like, all the creatures that have to hit for the damage instead of just actual spells. Yosh. Yeah. So, we'll see you in game one. Okay. All right, game one. I'm going to show my hand. So that's what we have. I love this. It's pretty sweet. Go ahead. And we've got... Those. Whoop. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to lead with a Primal Beyond. And I'm going to reveal Flamekin Harbinger as my elemental. So this comes in untapped. And I'll tap that for a red... And cast Flamekin Harbinger. Search for an elemental. Which... What do I need here? Got that. Um... Hmm. I'm thinking... Perhaps this? Yeah. I'm thinking a Vengemine. So that'll go on the top of my library. Pass turn. Drop return. Since this threat's recurring, at least. Burden Catacomb? Crack that. I should also point out this deck is not that great. It's very casually themed. Not like uh, on Tuesday's video where we played pretty competitive decks. This one's quite casual. And the thought sees. Three lands, 
House Park Elemental and Burning Tree Emissary. I mean, hmm. it's probably not a hard decision. <laughs> no, not really. I think we're going to take this Burning Tree. Yep. Also, it was worth noting, I couldn't cast that this turn, because yes. it's not an elemental. So it's there is a elemental. bit of disenergy with this deck. But and go. Eventually, he I also will provides be playing... one of each color, so you can't like lead him into a ball lightning. Yeah, or groundbreaker. Yeah, yeah. There are some slightly annoying things with this deck. Uh, that being one of them. Here's a copper line gorge and a hell spark elemental. We'll bash you for four. Yeah, we have to take that. Go to thirteen. Hell spark gets sacrificed. Pass turn. Untap. Yeah, at some point I'm going to do like an actual elemental tribal deck. This one technically isn't. Draw for turn. Mountain. Faithless looting. Yep. Well, we don't need both of those, so that's kind of a decision. So one of the black leaf cliffs. That might have given away what I drew. And a life from the loam. Alright. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, alright. What if what else? I'm gonna crack that go to 19. Um, there's a gamble on a basic. I think at this point I can just grab a basic. So I'm going to. And I think we have more green. Well, actually our red's a little more intensive than our green, isn't it? So I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just grab the first one I see. Forest. Which one are you gonna draw? <laughs> Forest. Yeah, it's kinda hard when you're looking through your deck and you're like, well that costs three red, that costs three green. <laughs> so. But uh, that's okay. I'm sure it won't come back to bite me. Probably will. Um, but this turn, we can go Burning Tree Emissary. Add a red and a green. Use that red and a green to unearth Hellspark Elemental. Yep. And then I will bash you for four again. Nine. Pass turn. So this gets sacrificed, but because it was unearthed, it gets exiled. Because that'd be way too good if you could do it every turn. <laughs> Untap. Draw for turn. Probably be one of the best cards ever printed if you could do that every turn. Black Cleave Cliffs. Collective Brutality. Yep. Discarding one card to give minus two, minus two to that. Yep. And you really don't have any instant sorcery, so I'm going to drain you for two. Okay. 17. 11. This dies. And a Faithless Looting. Yeah, making me discard's not quite as good. Even though you know that I have Vengevine in hand, you don't know what other card is. And discarding Vengevine's not always the best. Yeah, we don't really need that Coligan's Command anymore, so we're going to discard that in a mountain. <laughs> okay. Enter go. Adap. Draw a card. That kind of works. There's Primal Beyond. And I think this might be a little bit better. Blood Braid Elf. Yep. Into Lightning Bolt. Your face, I guess. Eight. That goes to the bottom. And then I'll bash you for four. Four. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do getting out of this. <laughs> Untap. Draw for turn. I know what the card in your hand is. Yeah. Here's Ghost Quarter. Yep. And it's your go. Ooh. On your upkeep. Okay. I shall Ghost Quarter. That's smart. Your primal, one of your primal beyonds. Okay. I mean, I do have one as a basic. <laughs> so, doesn't really matter. Here's a man. All right. Another blood bright off the top would be pretty sweet. 
Since I gave you one last <laughs> last video, let's see if you give me one this time. <laughs> the same thing. Same thing. Rough return. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is just a Tarmogoyf. So we'll play that Vengevine. Yeah. And I'll bash you for eight. I shall, because I have revolt. Fatal push that. Oh! And cool. then take four. <laughs> Deal. You know what's actually kind of funny about Fatal Pushing, or even just doing anything to a Vengevine in combat? If I played another creature, he would count himself, because yeah. I cast him this turn, which is kind of silly. Yeah, so that was game one, and uh, we'll see you game two. Okay. Alright, game two. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. All right, and for myself, kind of like this one, mainly because of that. <laughs> All right. Black leaf cliffs. Yeah. And gonna thought sees you. All right. So two lands. Bloodbright Elf, Ball Breaker, and two birds. Two birds. So we can't stop the turn three, but we can at least... I mean, if you have another permission spell, you probably can. But I think... Hmm, am I more afraid of the Bloodbraid or the Groundbreakers? I think we're gonna take the Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning now. 18. Enter O. Draw card! That's not terrible. Uh, I'm gonna Wooded Foothills. I'm gonna crack that and go straight to 17 for a stomping ground and cast a bird. Go ahead. Untap. Do you have the signed Rock one or do I have the signed one? I think I have the signed one. Okay. Because <laughs> I only had a single copy. Right. Black Leaf Cliffs. And Faithless Looting. Okay. Hmm. Discarding Ghost Quarter and Maelstrom Pulse. Alright. Yeah, Maelstrom Pulse isn't the best against me. No, it definitely isn't. I mean, it can hit Goyf and Bloodbraid, but generally speaking, it's not great. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. Okay. Well, that kind of almost works. There's a Primal Beyond, Revealing, Groundbreaker. Mm-hmm. Green, green, green. Groundbreaker. Yep. Attack for six. Go to 12. Pass the turn. Let's get sacrificed, of course. Untap. So you avoided the balls, but not the breakers. <laughs> Draw for turn. A mountain. And it's your go. Untap. Draw a card. Yeah. I mean, if you're not going to draw land, I guess that one's okay. Ball landing. Yep. Six. Two damage Ooh. to that. Yep. Discard a card. Um, It's going to be Vengevine. Oh, good. <laughs> you had a very good card to discard. Yes, I did. Draw for turn. Verdant Catacombs. Crack that going to 11. Need another land for that blood braid, though. Forced. And we're gonna beat you to it. Ooh. Here's a blood braid. Okay. In two. 
Inquisition. Oh, that's actually really good. I'd veg to mine next turn without the Bloodbright Elf. Gonna take the Goyf. Yep. Enter. Well, hmm. At 11? You could attack me out of nowhere. That's the problem. Yeah, I could just, like, Bloodbright into a 6 1, potentially. Do I want to risk that? I also do have bolts in my deck. I don't think so, so it's your go. Not that I'm trying to guide you one way or another. I don't really care, to be honest. Untapped. 15. Here comes the blood braid. Here comes the blood braid. So, cascade. <sighs> no veg <laughs> mine. But I will bolt yours. And then I'll bash you for three. Go to eight. Go ahead. Do they have to be in a random order? Yes, they do. So, we're going to shuffle those three cards. Draw for turn. <laughs> Young Pyromancer. Yep. Bolt your blood braid. Deal. <laughs> Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Is this where things go south? Good. <laughs> Untap. Draw for turn. I can't believe I have four lightning bolts in the deck. Those are the only spells. And this hit one, preventing me from getting my bench bone back. Bloodbraid Elf. Ooh, yep. I think you're up bloodbraiding me. Into a faithless living. Foil into foil, too. Very nice. I get that. Draw to... Hmm. Which of these do we discard? Because we're at eight. Yes. I think it's going to be stomping ground on this young pyromancer. All right. It's cause going to one card in hand. Yeah. If it's the young pyro, it doesn't really accomplish too much. It basically relies on top decks. Mm -hmm. Five. Ten. Enter go. Creature. We're another land. Go. <laughs> also Untap. playing only 20 lands, so. Draw for turn. It's pretty unreasonable. Inquisition you. You get my bird. It's important to stop the card in your graveyard. Although I think at this point you got enough chump blockers that it's not a threat anymore. And we're going to drain you for two. For good measure. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Because why not? And swing for seven. Go to one. Because two can't attack. It's not really a point blocking. I'm dead. Even Enter if I up. block this, chump block this, <laughs> I'm still dead. Well, actually, you know what? There is a point. So I'm going to chump block the Blood Braid because I want to crack this land thin a little. So I will go to f four Yeah. at the end of that. And then I'll go to three. Crack that. Probably get bolted. The top deck bolt? Yeah. Which, you know, wouldn't be the first time <laughs> this week that's happened. <laughs> But just for the little bit of thinning, I will keep myself alive to crack that. All right, you cut me into blood braid, please. That's the one? That's the one. That's the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my mana, and I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to cast <laughs> a primal beyond. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Got it. Draw for turn. Yes, that was illegal, but the game's over. Flashback Faithless Looting. Yep. Draw two. Wow, those were just great. <laughs> Discard two. And then we will faithless looting oh. to just pitch these. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a blood brand. 
and swing for nine. I will take that. Going to hell. <laughs> that was on top. All right. So that was this, and we will see you in game three. Keep this. Okay. All right, game three. Show my hands. That's what I have. Go ahead. And we've got... Those. Whoop. All right. Going to lead things off with an ancient ziggurat and a bird of paradise. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Or we're just going to lead off with the mountain. Now we're going to bolt that. Okay. Turgo. Zap. Draw a card. All right. Um... Untap Stomping Ground. Going to 18. It does have a turn to play. Sure does. Hellspark Elemental. 3. 17. Sacrifice. Good. Untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. Burn Catacombs. Crack that going to 16. Find an overgrown tomb. Untapped, going to 14. All right. Do my work for me. It is doing quite a lot of your work for you. <laughs> Here is a young pirate mancer. You got it. Trigo. Untap. Draw a card. Untap stomping ground. 16. <laughs> I'm also apparently doing your work for you. <laughs> Bolt that. Ah. And then let's go for a Tarmogoyf. Instant creature land. land. 3 4. Just out of bolt range. Just out of bolt range. Go ahead. Untap. Drop return. Bloodstained Buyer. Crack that going to 13. I don't want to do more of your work for you. <laughs> yeah, you've done more damage than I have, I think. To get a mountain. We're oh. tied. No, nope, you've done more damage to Actually yourself. Did. I've done, yeah, four now. Yeah. I've only done three with Hell Spark. Gotta get a swamp. Wait, there's more. I figured. <laughs> Here's the thought, Cease. I would, I would hope you're not doing <laughs> nothing. Not, not a great, not a great. <laughs> no, one. that's not. I was really hoping to take a blood bread from you, and nope. In fact, uh, when I played that bird, I assume you were afraid of like the turn two groundbreaker or something. Yeah, I had, no, I had no threes. <laughs> yeah, no I had threes. all twos. <laughs> so my um, next turn would have been tapped land and hellspark elemental. Anyway, I think. I, oh, it's kind of tough. I think I take this actually. Yeah, take one of the activations away from that. Makes sense. Enter go. Stops the Vengevine from coming back. To yes, that's kind of exactly. Just in case he mm -hmm. has something, and it's still three damage, but you have to pay more mana for that one. Yeah. So sorcery is new. I think. Right. Yeah. Four or five. Groundbreaker up top. Yeah. Ten. This thing is very fragile. <laughs> Terminate that one. Sure. Take six. Go to seven. 
I don't like that number. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and now you have lethal with the cards you have. I can't cast all of them at once. But you can't though. cast all of them at once. Draw for turn. Even if I get a land up top. Okay, sorcery speed, I really didn't need you. <laughs> well, I think you gotta bank everything off this faithless looting. Not bad. If you get like an Inquisition, that's pretty good. And we discard a dread boar and a life from the loam. Okay. Sure go. Untap. Draw a card. Burn tree emissary. Use yep. the mana to get back this Hellspark elemental. I'll bash you for three. I shall push that. Okay, uh, so since it was returned, it still gets exiled, yes. Go. Untap. I need a draw here. Uh, it's, removal it's spell. the land, it. but... It's not the land I need, because it's life from the loam. Oh. So, uh... Two, five, six... Yeah, so you got me. So, blood stain mire, crack that, going to six. Gonna go all the way to four. So why not? <laughs> I'm dead anyway. <laughs> Untapped land would have kept me in the game, but... Mm. But not really. I wanted to be greedy. <laughs> Ah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. But I needed a land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got a life from the loan. Yep. Yeah, sometimes so, it happens. it's your go. And a turn, bully face. And then, you know, I didn't want to keep the dread boar because I thought, why would I keep a dread boar yeah. <laughs> against what I know I'm, le I'm dead to two things that he has to sacrifice at end of turn? <laughs> well, here's a land. It's an expensive one, too. Unearth this. Bash for five. Dead. Yes! Not a lot of blood braiding that game. I mean, you had some. But... Yeah, I had a lot. Yeah. I just could have had, yeah, this one. you know, one land off the top <laughs> there. But that's magic sometimes. So, that was this matchup. Um, and we will be back doing Modern again on Tuesday. And then... Friday, I think next week we'll do something different. <laughs> yes. Just so we don't have like six moderns in a row. But uh, yeah, so is this. See you next week. Bye.